What's up guys, this is our first review on uh, TKO Resto and we're going to start out with my buddy Alex's uh, oh, 2003 Silver Metallic V6 and uh, he's had it for about four years now, um, it's his first Mustang and uh, he loves it. If this thing is the cleanest V6 you'll see. He daily drives it and it is super clean. Uh, he did just clay bar and wax it today and with some Chemical Guy products and uh, we're going to start the review and we're going to start out with the exhaust we added. Uh, what, when did you purchase that? Last year? Yep. Yeah, he's got uh, the pipe system on it. He's got an X-pipe with uh, true dual uh, mufflers and tips on the back. Um, sounds pretty good. We'll give you all uh, a little sound in a little bit. But uh, we kept the V6 bumper and just did the duals down low. Uh, we're going to actually get a GT bumper for him so we can bring it up a little bit. But uh, he did add the uh, stainless steel Mustang inserts for the rear bumper as well. Uh, that just uh, sets it off nice with the, with the silver metallic. And uh, the biggest mod he did, well, not the biggest mod, but the most, I think, gain mod he got was the Celines from me. He purchased these Celines from me, and I'm telling you, it, it just made the car come alive. Those uh, stock 15-inch, man, you guys know what those look like. They're not very uh, pretty. So uh, these chrome 17-inch uh, Celine replicas, they just hit the car off perfect with that silver. Um, also, we did lower it a little bit. You can see the back's lower than the front. Uh, we cut the springs. These are V6 rear springs. We cut them, I think, a coil, right? A coil and a quarter or something like that. And uh, the front we did, but it, we need to drop a little bit more. But when you cut springs, you don't want to cut too much because you can't add it back on. So uh, we're going to have to recut those eventually. And we're going to get a Mach 1 chin spoiler and uh, the Mach 1 grill delete for it uh, probably next spring. It's almost winter now. But uh, he's got the cloth interior in there. Super clean, no rips in the interior. Uh, he does have the leather uh, steering wheel, which is nice, like the GTs. Um, it's automatic, which doesn't hurt having an automatic car. And he also has the uh, upper little uh, kangaroo pouch on top of the headliner. That's a uh, that's a, that's one of my favorite uh, options on these on the 03s. I think 04 didn't have it. Some early 04s might, but late 02s and 03s had them. And uh, that's one of my favorites about my 03. And this one has it too. So, but this car has 177,000 miles on it. It's got an all original paint besides the front bumper. We did repaint that. Um, had a bunch of rock chips, you know, for being so old. And um, it also had the uh, holes where someone had a front chin, or someone had a front license plate on it. He didn't like those. Nobody likes that, especially if your state doesn't, uh, you know, it's not required to have that on there. The hood uh, has a couple little chips, but you can't tell from far away. You might not be able to see it on camera. This car is actually clean. I'm gonna pop the hood real quick for you guys. All right, come on closer. Motor is just as clean as the outside. Okay, guys, we're going to give you a little exhaust uh, clip with the pipes. It's not too loud, but, I mean, it just sounds different than a V8, uh, but it does sound, it sounds better in a ricer, so. The pipes is uh, pretty, it's pretty loud. It just, it sounds like it echoes a lot from the inside, but uh, there's, you really don't have that much uh, variety for uh, dual exhaust on the aftermarket for the V6s. Not a lot of people do it, but we like the dual tips, and this sounds better than just being stock so we're gonna start it up it's not really drone in the highway uh, it's not too bad we'll do a little we'll do a little uh, I'm gonna close this head real quick we'll do a little drive-by a little travel in. 